Hello and welcome to tutorial number four in the sequence. Today we're going to be learning about the playlist. First of all, let's open up the playlist. The playlist can be opened up the same way as each other components. At the top here, there's five little buttons. First one is in fact the playlist. Okay, so now we've got the playlist. We want to be able to create a song. This is basically the same as the step sequencer in a sense that it plays through but the step sequencer only holds one pattern and by cloning each pattern you create something which you can add into the playlist. So in here we have a drop down menu. Uh, you'll see we have drum one, synth, synth number two and drum one number two. These are just created the same as the other tutorials. All I've done with synth one and synth two was I copied the Mooga synth and just put it on the Greasy synth and it's there. So we pop in the drums, so we just want one drum one and one drum two. This ena enables us to play two different patterns after each other, so it gives more variation in the track. It, in the step sequencer we use the pattern button at the top here to play. This is to play the pattern alone. However, as we want to be playing from the, from the playlist, we actually want to be selecting song this time, not pattern. So select song, the green light, and press play. And as you'll notice, the second pattern played the extra kicks, which is what the difference was between those. So these tools up here are the same as the piano roll ones. So we can just use the same things Maybe you want to cut and paste these just to build up some bars. Uh, we can also add synths into it. So say we want to add synth number one and then synth number one again. Play that all the way through. But say we want to double it up on after the ninth bar. Uh, we just do that and then we play it from the start and it will sound something like this. Obviously that sounds awful right now, but we're not trying to make a song here, we're just trying to show you how to use the tools to make a song. Um, so as you'll see, we, I've separated just the drums at the top and these are two different synths. If you wanted to, you can click this track one here, right click it and click rename colour. Uh, so say we change this to drums and say we want to give it a colour of blue. Uh, also you'll notice at the top here where drum one and drum number two is, we gave it a colour of red earlier, hence why it's got a red bar and the synth doesn't. So if we press enter now after calling it drums, it will change the whole track blue as well. And this changes the colour of everything which you place upon that track. So the drums have red tops but the synths do not. But if I drag the synth onto there, it will have a blue background because it's on that track. However, it does not have a red title bar because we did not give it a colour in the step sequencer. There's, there's really not much else to this playlist other than what you've seen really. It's, the way it works is really similar to the piano roll with all the tools you can get. However, there is one tool which you might find useful, which is the times mark, the time marker tool, which you can just press Alt and T. Uh, you click that, and say you want to call this intro, and then it will add a time marker here, and then this will extend the bar above the bar numbers, because these are these numbers here represent a bar, so bar one, bar two, bar three, bar four. Say if you wanted to drop it bar nine. You could right click, add marker, just type in drop and uh, it helps you structure your songs a lot better, um, helps you keep track of where everything is. There's not really a lot to the playlist itself, it's, it's mainly just there to put all your patterns together to make the song itself. Obviously you can have as many patterns as you want, you could create a new one, I don't know, so if we add hi-hats and we just threw in a whole row of hi-hats throw that in there. That's that's really all there is to it. It's it's mainly about your own creations you playing about with. 
each of the tools yourself, getting to know the software, uh, playing about with it. It's mainly up to you to make the song. I'm simply just showing you how to use the tools. That there's not a lot in in the playlist which would benefit you from a beginner's perspective at the minute. Obviously, you've got the resize functions, just like the piano roll and that. And you can also resize these tracks and right click them, size 100% if you ever accidentally knock them. Uh, yeah, other than that, there's really not a lot else to it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was a nice and short one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in future tutorials. Thank you very much. Goodbye.